Have you ever wondered which song to promote and which song to not promote, which song to invest in and which ones just to leave alone? Well, I've got a little formula which I think might help you guys. So what I've done is I've got a group called Glow Wave. I also have them here in YouTube. And last year we set the group up. And as you can see, we only have 87 YouTube subscribers. Not a lot, but it's kind of enough to do the analysis that I want. When you look at the top songs for the last 28 days, when you have a look at the analysis, the best songs are the ones that have performed the best in YouTube. How do I know that they've performed the best? Well, basically I've put no ad spend, like zero advertising money in YouTube. So YouTube is a completely organically growing system. So let's just do a couple of case studies. So we'll look at first this song called Don't Say A Word. Don't Say A Word is a song which is doing really well organically with Spotify. You can see here, it's getting pretty decent streams. I haven't spent a lot of ad spend on this. Organically, it's getting a lot of radio streams. You can see here 8,000 radio streams and it's just entered Discover Weekly. Now, if we have a look at all of the content, I'll just show you, for example, this one here. In terms of retention, they're looking anywhere like this. So everything in the gray space is your typical retention for all the songs. Now, I've released quite a few songs with Glowwave, more than 20 songs. So I've got a lot of good data here. And I can see here that really, even though this says this is typical, this song here, retention wise, is almost below typical. It's not doing very well. But if we have a look at the song we just checked out before, which was Don't Say a Word, and let's have a look at the retention for that one. So that one is exceeding retention. So it's above typical. It's not massively exceeding, but it's exceeding. And I think this is one of the reasons this song has done better. This one here, Don't You Forget About Me, has above typical retention. And in fact, and there are some parts where it's doing extremely well. I wanted to have a look at this particular song because this is a song that I haven't done any ads for and has grown completely organically. It's almost like an experiment just to see how it would go. We can see here over the last 12 months, it's only been out a month, it started slowly, no ad spend, remember no ad spend, and then a huge, well, for this song's level, a big release radar spike and a few other spikes. Almost all of these streams are algorithmic. I've literally done nothing really for this song. So I hope that's been useful. Any questions you got about this, please feel free to ask. Thank you.